Hello everybody! Today I am bringing you a layout with a couple of photos that I took of some fall bounty, some or some autumn bounty, some squash and pumpkins that I came across when I was um, photographing the church that was my last video. And funny thing, I didn't intend this to happen, but my all my last video, this video, and my next video will all be using the Simple Stories Hello Fall collection. And like I said, I didn't intend that, but sometimes when I take out a paper pack to use on something, all of a sudden I just get a ton of ideas for some pictures that I have. And that's what happened with this one is I just started working with it and the ideas just started to really flow. So my, th and, and right now you won't see this until probably December, but I am, um, doing these layouts and I'm voicing over in November so just because I have my my layouts set to their scheduled so that I don't if I have something going on you still get videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays so anyway um, as I said most of this is done with simple stories hello fall that floral paper there is called falling for you and then the green paper that I'm going to mat the photos on is called Celebrate Fall. And these are two four by six photos. Um, I'm going to use a design that I will sometimes use when I have three photos, three four by six photos. It's a pretty common um, design. And there that one came back. I, I'm needing to even these out and take little um, edges off of them. The the um, green paper is cut at about six and a half inches wide just so that you know what that is and I'm looking at somehow separating these or trying to figure this out and I'm thinking you know it's so oftentimes we use three four by six photos in a line like this so I went to my four by six cut apart sheet the horizontal journaling element sheet from this Hello Fall collection and found one that I really liked. It's that card there that says Autumn. And I liked, there were some letters, chipboard letters in this collection that use this font and I really like the fact that this is also printed on this card. So I'm going to take that and put it right in the middle to separate these two. And I really like how that looks because the two photos have so many dark elements in them and the floral paper is also fairly dark, but that card just lightens up the whole layout and does a really nice job of bringing it together. So now I'm just centering that card from side to side there and then I'm not taking out a ruler or anything I'm just going to measure you know off the card to figure this out and it was a little bit long because I had to cut some edges white edges off of those photos so I just took my scissors there to get that evened up And you'll see there, if you haven't seen one of my videos before, haven't heard this before, I write pers um, possible titles on the back of photographs. And then I also write the date on the back. And I print my photos pretty quickly after I actually take them. Um, I do that and then I put them in my storage area, which would be on an external hard drive. And I also back up to Google Drive as well. And trust me, I had a computer go down that also took out my external storage. So the fact that I had all my photographs backed up to Google Drive was an amazing, um, it was a really lucky thing. And most of the time when I download my photos as well, almost, well, I do down my photo photos pretty much right away after I take them. And then I put them in folders. I have a folder on my laptop that just as for current photos I'm working with. And then I copy those files into my two storage spots. So you know how that works in my life. 
and it in that way I can really I don't have to worry about losing photos so I took the card and I cut it a little bit a little bit of it off because it wasn't quite even and that way I have a little bit of space at the top and the bottom of that card so that's all done and I'm not I'm thinking trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that because the card says autumn how am I going to do the title you know those kinds of things and then I decide what I want to do is I want to call this layout autumn bounty and if I can get the right letter stickers I want to put it across the word autumn so I went and I looked at some of my mini markets the problem with those however is that they're going to be they'd be kind of big to put them right on top of the word autumn there you'd lose it then I looked at my jelly bean soup alpha beans some of the words some of them that I had left and I didn't have the right letters but also I think that they're too open I think I need some kind of tile letter sticker to be able to get this to look right and have no fear I will find them one eventually because trust me I have no shortage of letter stickers as I do not have a shortage of thickers or chipboard letters I, I like letters <laughs> and pattern paper and die cuts and blah 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 <laughs> on and on you know how it is if you're scrapbooking you probably also have things you love too so now I'm just looking to find what I think are the right blue letters and I find them in the in this mind my mind's eye necess necessities alpha and word stickers my goodness I'm having a hard time forming words today so again it's the my mind's eye necessities alpha and word stickers and these are the blue ones these are a couple of years old but there's lots of different colors of these navy and a light and actual true light blue and I'm just going to put that on my um, wax paper there because I want to figure out where exactly I want to put this I don't want to guess at this because I want to make sure it looks right that you can still read the word autumn pretty easily and understand what it is and I think the fact that I'm taking pictures of squash and pumpkin you're gonna understand that this is autumn and not spring but still that just makes it a little bit easier now as I said this is a typical really simple way to do a grid layout that a lot of us will use and then you can vary it by using um, sometimes I'll use a different pattern paper as well on the right uh, of, of this one it would be to the right and then I punch a border out of it sometimes I'll use a border sticker there um, sometimes I'll just cut the paper and then punch it so that's on the the main matte piece just kind of depends and then sometimes I'll move that matte over a little bit in this case it would be over to the right a little bit so that I can get another paper or a border sticker on the left just kind of t depends on what the pictures are doing and how the layout is calling to me I guess but this is a really tried and true design for me simple and I tend to scrapbook I don't tend to cut my photographs I scrapbook mostly in 4x6 or 4x4 photos which is not easy sizes and you know kind of predictable but I'm okay with that and I did drop the letters just a little bit they're not halfway on the word they're a little bit lower than that I thought it made it a little bit more legible so now I just um, grabbed a piece from the chipboard stickers for the hello fall collection and it's a gourd and now I'm looking for something else that I can use and since I'm talking about bounty in the die cut pack which in in uh, simple stories it's called bits and pieces they had that like corn stalk and I thought when else am I ever going to use a corn stalk but talking about autumn bounty that's perfect and then within that die cuts there's there was also a crate of apples now I'm trying to figure out I like this wheelbarrow and again I'm thinking when else am I going to use a wheelbarrow 
Um, but I'm just having a hard time with it. It's not working very well. It's a hard shape to work with with what I'm trying to do here, which is layer a couple of different things. So I'm looking as well, oh, what other kinds of things might I be able to use? Could I use something else other than, I do want to use that piece of chipboard. There's a, um, a, a like a wooden apple. It looks like it's made out of a wood crate. But I eventually go back to that die cut of the apple orchard. I think there were pumpkins in this collection. I think. I don't remember for sure. If there were, I've already used them on um, some layouts about uh, pumpkin carving and things like that already. I just love this, uh, this particular collection. I made another layout today that unfortunately you're not going to see because I set it to video and um, it the um, video stopped after about, I don't know, a minute. I don't quite understand what happened. However, if um, you go to my Flickr account, which I'm Kelly Oblak, O-B-L-A-K on Flickr, and um, if you go there, you'll see it up on my, uh, in my um, Flickr photo stream. And it actually, it was probably one of my favorite layouts that I did with this collection, but oh well, that happens sometimes. It's a frustration of doing videos. So now I've gone to the sticker sheet for Hello Fall and I'm just pulling off some stickers that I think are appropriate for this particular layout. The this sheet is called the Combo Cardstock Stickers. And I selected Harvest Happiness and Harvest Blessings here. I like the cluster on the bottom there, so I'm just going to work with that as it is. Put a little tape on the back of everything and just put it down. And I like how that cornstalk actually brings a little bit of verticality to the layout. And then I look and I decide, oh, that can go down here. I can put another sticker up on that other photo there so those two balance each other. Plus, then um, there's, you know, you have some sort of triangle as well. And you're flowing down the layout with stickers. So you go from the top sticker to the letter stickers to the bottom sticker and then across to the die cuts. So again, when you're thinking about what you're doing with layouts, think about how people's eyes flow down your layout. And you want to direct them through the picture. So in this particular case, that's how, what the stickers are doing. I found a little chipboard acorn to put on my top photo there to add a little bit of something else. And then for the bottom photo, I went back to that sticker sheet and found just a little blue heart. So now I just have to do a little bit of journaling on here. I'm gluing down some edges again as well, making sure um, that I have glued everything down. Not a lot of journaling here because basically I just, I, I when I went to take the photos of that church that was my last layout, there was a farm right next door and they just had this self-serve wagon full of squash and pumpkins. And I just love the textures and the way it all looks. So I quick turned around and snapped photos of that as well. And there's my journaling. So I am done. Here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you are all well. Bye.